No Film School's coverage of Cinegear 2019 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. And Firefly, unlimited music and non-GMO hosting. Live productions can be difficult, especially when water is involved. Picture this scenario. You're filming the live production of Waterworld, and suddenly a wave comes up. The moment's gone. This is the first time I've ever seen anything quite like this, and it's incorporated into a map box system. Yes. I want you to have the show floor. What am I looking at? What is it? How did you guys invent it? So there's, um, we were at a music festival. It was raining, and we watched the cameraman uh, come in and clean the lens, and I thought this was nuts. So it's snow, dust, anything where you want to clear a lens. But I also think there's an opportunity to be really creative. Um, there's a classic shot of... Hitchcock's in Psycho where he he put a camera near to the shower head mm -hmm. and to do that he built a four foot shower head and this would allow you to, to do those kind of creative shots without building huge constructions and in the end we settled on air um, generated by a battery it enters this chamber and blasts and attaches itself to the glass at 300 miles an hour um, and that solves the problem of lower noise, it's about 64 dB. Oh. Compared to a spinning disc, which is 100 dB. And also the resolution is increased because you don't get any vibration, uh, centrifugal forces. So we have a compressor in here with a filtering system uh, down to one micron. So when we're generating airflow, it's at 300 miles an hour. So if we have one particle of sand to go into the chamber, it would destroy the compressor and then destroy the glass. So we filter down to one micron. It's the same system that they use in jet visor engines. The air comes in, gets compressed, and exits here at 300 miles an hour, attaches itself to the glass, and then rolls down the glass, taking anything in its flow with it. What, uh, what map boxes can I attach this to? Or is it its own separate sort of system? It is its own system. So it ha you can have two filters or three filters as well as um, ARRI backs so you can connect to different diameter lenses. It has another added benefit. Um, the traditional method of rotating a piece of glass with a bearing can generate heat. And that heat, when water hits it, can cause condensation or fogging. Uh, this system um, alleviates that problem because the airflow just doesn't fog. Now you said that this is a battery powered compressor. Yes. Is it a P-tap out to my main battery or is, is it its own closed knit system? No, it has to go straight to the battery. So you said that in order to get the compressor to power I need a 24 volt battery. That's right. So is that a special sort of battery that I need to have? Uh, no, you can get 24 volt batteries but we can also take two 12 volts and generate a 24 volt. So I can get two 12, so does that mean I need a shark fin for my camera in order to run the compressor if I'm using really standard sort of batteries? Exactly, yes. Yeah, that's right. How long can I expect, suppose I just have this attached to my, to my ARRI as I have, how long am I expected to before I got to swap out? So in about 200 watt hours, I would expect an hour and a half at full blast. What is the price point on this thing and when does it ship? We are aiming for the end of the year um, and we're expecting somewhere about $3,000. And that's a, that's a map box system here as well as a compressor? Yes, that will be a map box system, a compressor, a cable, and a battery cable. I'm also noticing these new rods in front of me. <laughs> Some of the lightest rods I've ever felt in my life. Tell me about them a little bit. So uh, we, we really wanted to, uh, a lot of our customers really want to get their weight lower. And so we looked at the normal 19 mil stainless steel rods and we noticed they were, they were really heavy. And so we went about looking at different materials and we came up with a, a blend of titanium uh, which we then machined and created this rod, which is a quarter of the weight of traditional ARRI stainless steel rods. That's crazy. And so they're 15 millimeter, there's a 19 millimeter as well. So we make a 15 millimeter and 90 millimeter uh, OD in various lengths. Okay. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, are these shipping now? What's the price point? So we ran out of stock. Um, we have our own factory, so we, we're waiting uh, and machining right now.
And how much weight can I place on this? Can I can I do my beautiful 24 to 300 new Sigma lens? Can I? It's exactly the same as traditional Arri stainless steel rods.